Hello friends, this video on coal and petroleum part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about the next fossil fuel that is petroleum. Now what comes to your mind when you think of petroleum? How do you relate to petroleum? So the name itself looks like as if it is derived from petrol. So from petrol what comes to your mind? I think the first thing that comes to your mind maybe is your vehicle. So the vehicles which you drive, whether it is a car, whether it is a bike or anything. So what do they need? What acts as a fuel for these vehicles? Petrol or diesel. So diesel is mostly used for the heavy vehicles. So petrol, diesel are the things which act as fuel for all the vehicles. So from where do we get these petrol, diesel, kerosene, from where do we get them? So we get them all from petroleum and petroleum is again just like coal, it is also an exhaustible natural resource. And how does it look like? Now it is no more solid like how coal is, like it, it looks, it has a rock like appearance, black in color, it is solid. But petroleum on the other hand is a liquid, it is a dark oily liquid. So petroleum also has a very unpleasant smell. In fact, uh, if, if you ever visit a petrol pump or something, so you'll see that petrol also has a very specific smell. Now, please remember that petroleum and petrol are not the same thing. Petrol is just one product which is obtained from petroleum because petroleum is actually made up of a lot of different components. Like how from coal, we obtain coal tar, coal gas, coke. Similarly, from petroleum, we obtain a lot of different products. So one such product is petrol. So it is composed of petrol, diesel, paraffin, wax, petroleum, gas, etc. And we will see how exactly do we segregate these uh, various components out of petroleum. So the first question again, how was petroleum formed? Now again, this is also a fossil fuel. So obviously it is also formed in a very similar way as coal was formed. But just that these were formed by decomposition of dye atoms deep under the ground. What are dye atoms? Dye atoms are nothing but living organisms that once lived inside the sea. So these are like tiny living organisms in the which are found in the sea. Now when these organisms died, what happened was they were they went to the towards the bottom of the sea floor. Like normally when these organisms were alive, they were like swimming and they were present on the on the water, maybe towards the surface or something. But when they died, they tend to become heavier and they went to towards the sea floor. So they went towards the bottom. And when that happens, as you can see here, these are the diatoms and they went towards the bottom of the sea. And then over a period of time, a lot of um, clay, sand, mud, rocks, stones, everything covered them up. So they got completely buried. Now in a very similar way here also again, when there was so much of pressure coming up, so the pressure increased, they went deeper and deeper under high temperature and high pressure. So these dead organisms turned into petroleum. So under high temperature and pressure, it formed oil. So petroleum is nothing but oil, right? It is an oily liquid. So often it is also termed as crude oil. Crude oil is the in the, the oil which is in its crude form. That is the oil which is directly extracted from the earth. So that is also called as crude oil or you can call it as petroleum as well. Now petroleum in this form, now even if we dig it out from deep inside, but petroleum in this form is not that useful. So in order to make it useful, it is important that we separate the components of the petroleum. So we saw that petrol, diesel, etc. form petroleum. So we need to get all those different components out of petroleum. So we will see how exactly can we separate the various constituents of petroleum. Now, before we learn about that process, we will first have to take that oil out from deep inside the earth. Like how in case of coal, we did coal mining. So in case of petroleum, we will do oil drilling. So in this, there are companies which drill through the earth to find deposits of oil and natural gas. So you see in the oceans and all they will set up the entire big apparatus and then they will try to find out whether oil is present there or not. So there are certain locations which are very popular because of their oil deposits. 
so wherever they, you have a lot of oil deposits so the companies will establish their uh, equipments and that's how they will be fetching the oil out from deep under the ground now in case of oil it is a liquid right so it can be fetched directly using equipments so unlike uh, coal mining where you create tunnels and you send people inside so all those things are not much required so here the equipments can do a lot of job so that's how oil is being drilled so oil is then pumped from below by oil rings and transported through pipelines or ship so as you can see here this is how the entire setup would look like so once the oil is being pumped from below to above so first the oil is fetched above now once the oil, uh, oil is being fetch, fetched here and then using pipelines it is sent to various other locations and ships are also used for transportation because normally you will have uh, these kind of um, oil deposits under the ocean so ship also acts as good mode of transport thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.